What is up, everybody? My name is Spaz. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a new series. I haven't decided what I'm going to call this new series yet, but I'm leaning towards the side of Let's Talk Beef. And the reason I want to start a new series is because I've been playing Battlefield for so long, and I've played every game in the franchise. Some games or some titles were limited. For example, I didn't play 2142 as much as I played 1942 or BF2 and or even Bad Company 2. But I wanted to start a series where we just talk about anything pertaining to Battlefield. The subjects aren't going to be constricted by anything. And I'm going to bring in some of my buddies to talk about some of these issues because a lot of my friends and I, well, we've been playing this franchise for quite some time. And we have such different and unique views on some of these topics that uh, I figured it'd be cool to start a new series. And in this episode, the first episode, I want to talk about the new patch that was released by DICE yesterday for PC players, the Netcode patch, a patch we've been waiting on for quite some time. It was released for PC players. I believe it is coming out for console players here soon. And the way DICE has decided to tackle this hit registration, latency, and or netcode issue is to add another adjustable setting in your gameplay options. And they are referring to it as the high frequency network update. And to quote or paraphrase their little description that I will link down in the bottom of this video, an article on Battlelog, which they talk about this high frequency update. And this, this whole thing is for people to take advantage of the improved networking that DICE has been working on. And to support players with a limited bandwidth connection, we support three different levels. This is quoting their site. Low, medium, and high. Most players with a connection faster than one up and one down should be fine using the high settings. But if you experience any issues, lower or turn off the setting completely. Now they're calling this the high frequency bubble. And essentially what's going on here is when you turn this setting on to high, and if you are within a certain radius of another player. This setting will add the possibility, it doesn't say for certain that it will update you with more information, but it says it adds the possibility to update the clients at a higher rate from the server, essentially meaning that the server will update the client on what is happening more often than before. This normally results in a smoother, more correct player experience. Now I've played about, I'd say four or five hours with this new patch and what I wanted to talk about specifically is that yes, this patch is a step in the right direction. For me personally, I have noticed um, a few different kill streaks and or sets where it seems as though my shots are registering a lot faster. The time to kill enemies has gone down a little bit. Yet at the same time, we have to be careful here that this isn't just a big placebo effect because as you're about to see in this clip here in a few seconds, Sometimes shots still don't register. I snipe a little bird with a tank shell and it doesn't register. Other times I've been killed around corners. I've been trading kills. You see, my concern with this patch is I personally believe it is a step in the right direction, although some of my friends have said that the hit registration has gotten worse since this patch, but I think the large majority of users are saying it feels a little bit better. Here's my only concern. It's not really clear just yet which servers have this enabled. And there's going to be some complications surrounding that. And it all really does still come down to what servers you are playing on. I got so frustrated with this game at one point that I was close to uninstalling it because the hit registration and or the latency was so bad. But I've learned over the time that I've had to play this game that you need to be picking appropriate servers and constantly updating your favorites list because everything is really dependent on the server. Sometimes it'll perform well. Sometimes it'll feel way off. So constantly update your favorites list. Don't just automatically assume that because one experience you had on a particular server that it's going to be like that all the time. See, what I'm concerned about is people perceiving this fix as some sort of magical fix, thinking that it's going to eliminate all sorts of latency issues. It's never going to happen. There's never going to be a patch that DICE will be able to release that will cure any and every latency issue or hit registration net code as everybody has coined this term it's not going to be possible to fix all this stuff but overall i do feel as though this patch is a step in the right direction but let's not get too rambunctious and assume that this game is flawless because like i said there still are instances of wonky kill trades 
getting killed behind rocks, getting killed behind cover. But from my personal experience, I can tell you that at times... Oh, watch this Warthog just get absolutely faced. All right, get out. Wait, wait, I think somebody else is coming up here. Who wants? Who else wants out of their vehicle? I think this Hilo wants to, uh, to get out of his vehicle as well. Here we go. All right, get out. But all I wanted to say, guys, is that this patch is a step in the right direction. I know I wanted to I want to tell you more about it, but I need a few more hours underneath my belt. Definitely try it out. Console players expect this patch to be coming your way soon. It does seem like it's doing or improving the gameplay experience a little bit. But don't get too excited because you're still going to experience latency issues, hit, hit registration issues, netcode issues, all that stuff. It's never going to go away, but we are moving in the right direction. So I applaud DICE. You guys know how critical I am of them. But I applaud them for taking these steps to help mitigate some of the common complaints. But that's it for me, guys. I will catch you guys in another episode of Let's Talk Beef. Okay, okay.